right, welcome back to our Bloomin' Burger Sunday special, love. Do you like to eat peppermint patties? Yes, I be doing. I be doing the peppermint pooping. Mmm. That's nice. Oh my god. What? What is this voice? My mm. madam. Mmm, that's nice. Oh, madam. Oh. oh. Walking around, traipsing around like a little madam. Like a little, little, little eating apple, like a little eating apple, just eating apples. Oh, yeah, you know, I love digging through them corn seeds. Finding me a good kernel to pop. Uh, uh, Pollinate the uh, garden bed, water know, my flowers. I think it's also, <laughs> I think also, too, is the fact that society hates, like, black women. In, like, any form, whether it's, you know, by regular, they, you know, and whatnot. And so you have the society that hates black women and then you have like men who are able to just like do to say like weird shit about black women and not like, have any consequences for it yeah you know it's weird i wonder if that was uh reagan do we do we live, do we lay that at the feet of Reagan's legacy? I mean, we could because he's uh, the one that he's the one that sat there and was like, um, black women are welfare queens. He started the welfare queen thing. Yeah, he yeah. he was like, he's a little weirdo, a little a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> a little, a little, a little... He's a little weird man. He's a little weird man. I can put him in my pocket. He is a little he, weird he man. He gets all hot. He says, hey, it's all it's so hot in your pocket. He's Take little, me to your pocket. He's a little weird man. He's a little, a little, a little odd. He says, I'm covered in chocolate. You left a fucking chocolate in your pocket. He did. Because he's a little weird man. You ever leave chocolate in your pocket and you're like, oh no, it's fucking melted and it's everywhere. I mean, yeah, I've done that. <laughs> it just makes the chocolate more delicious. I always feel like saving things, like, as a kid, just makes me want to, like, waste them. Because it's like, when you're a kid, what do you do? You put money in your pocket, you put chocolate in your pocket, and then, like, you pull it out, like, three weeks later, and it's, like, ruined. Oh, the amount of times that I would have, like, dollar bills in my pocket, and then run them through the washer, and then they'd come out, and my mom's like, well, that's another dollar bill ruined. You didn't uh, just save it and dry it? Well, it was like, it was ruined. It was like blue and shit. It was all blue. How do you snap? It was blue dishwasher. Although, it's funny enough, didn't, um, isn't money made out of like clothing or something weird? It's made out of like. It's not like paper paper. No, it's made out of like you can do It's not quite CBS papyrus. It's not quite Monopoly money. Can you imagine going to a CBS and being all like. I require your finest papyrus! Yes? All of the two people that work there are gonna be like, What the fuck, bro? And they, they call the manager and they're gonna be like, Hey, we have this guy in here. He's yelling papyrus in a, in a deep British voice. What do we do? And they're like, Bro, that's Russell Crowe. Just let him have his fun. Let him, let him eat papyrus. Let him eat his pup, 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 pup -a Papa Roos. I love how it is. It is honestly so awful how just everything these days is a business that is concerned with like understaffing and overworking. It blows my fucking mind, bro. Like, like the thing about Elon buying Twitter and then like firing half the Twitter staff. That is definitely like I cannot sympathize with that at all. Like even if. Even if I was a person who, from like a sociological standpoint, was like, ooh, what would happen if he did this? Isn't this a fun social prank? Have like a super fucking like right wing dude about freedom of speech get on this like social media platform. Like, even if I was like that, it's still not like this is awful. Because he's doing the understaff overwork that like everything does these days. And it's fucking weird because if you think about it, by the way, that's how kind of small businesses operate because small businesses are small. And. 
It's like corporations want to be small businesses so bad. It's fucking bizarre. We live in the age of like the revenge of the petty bourgeoisie, dude. The zombies are coming. Not on my new rug! Oh. Um. Yeah, it's bizarre. Like, I go into a CVS now, right? And I'll see, like, like just one person manning the checkout. So it's it, now it's there's a there's a self checkout aisle, and there's two like person checkout aisles. But one of them is always closed, and the other one is a dude like doing like a million things behind the counter, being all like, "Please don't come over here." Like they will like look at me with pleading eyes of like, "Please use the self checkout, dude. Please use the self checkout." And I'm like, hey, no problem. I just want to get my shit and get out. But, like, 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 no one goes into a CVS for the fucking ambiance. So, like, of course I'll just be like, hey, look, I'll get in and get out. No big deal. Um, you know, I, sure, I like to meander around a Wakeman's, but not like CVS. But, um, it is, uh, it's, it's so dumb. So dumb that places just understaffed and overwork. And what's funny is we were looking at a TikTok, weren't we? And it was, it was about how, um... Even, like, like shift managers and other people, like, who are just managers, even they don't get, like, a say on a lot of that stuff. Because it's ultimately, like, a decision from corporate, where corporate gets mad at them if they're like, Hey, look, you have, you, you have like, two to three people running, like, stations. You only need one. And I'm like, oh, that's so evil, dude. <laughs> like, and you've experienced stuff like that, where it's, like, understaff overwork. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, you don't have to drop anything credential-wise, but can you talk about any of that, or...? I will. Do it. In fact, um, I was there, and I've had, um... I've had it where I worked at, and I'll name drop it because I don't work anymore, so fuck up. Uh, 7-Eleven. Oh god. Oh god. And yeah. they were, and... The previous owner of our store understood they need three people in the morning and mm -hmm. not two. Yeah. Or you need like three people in like the afternoon. Like you need, or maybe two people in the morning, three people in the afternoon. Just because of how like busy it gets. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, so you sit there and you have this area and this we have we have this new we have this new owners and they did not understand and we kept trying yep. to tell them like hey we need like this amount of people because we i had been there for a long time and like it, i was like hey we, we need this and someone else who'd been there for like three years had been there for like a long time and so we we're just like, hey, uh, like, please listen to us. Like, we're not, yeah. you know, we're not, we're not like just trying to sell you some some weird stuff. Um, we're what the fuck? Are you talking about? No, but like we're not trying to like you know, like, like shortchange you. Oh yes. Like we're you. trying to actually tell you like. Hey, you know, you eat like some of the, or not eat, but like do listen to us because we know we we basically know what's going on, essentially what it is. Yeah. And instead of listening to us, they went actually no, and um their business suffered for it hmm. because you know you have people being like. Who's running this store? Um, I know that, like, you know, like, who, who's running the store because the previous owner, like, never used to do this. Yeah. And so I'd be like, sorry, new owners, they're getting used to stuff. And then we'd get busy, or they'd be like, oh, this stuff, this thing wasn't done the day before. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's because you had, like, two or, like, one person working at night. Of course they can't get to all of it. They can barely leave the cash register to eat, like, dinner. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't ship people, you ship people eight, nine, ten hours, and you don't actually let them, like, breathe. 
Sure, for sure, yeah. My goodness. Yeah, it's just, and, it, and it's like, um, we were talking to someone the other day, and they said that for every one thing you see someone do with their job, there's ten things you don't see. So we were talking to someone the other day, and they said that there's very one thing you see at someone's job, there's like five to ten things that you don't see. And I, I like, I don't think that that's good though. <laughs> like, like it's, not, like, it's not like good. Like, we don't have to, we don't have to take that for granted. We don't have to be like, oh yeah, that's just the way things are. Um, like, sure, like, you know, everyone can have some kind of like behind the scenes task here and there. Like, don't get me wrong, that's, that's fine. But like, um, and, and like, customers and patrons don't have 360 degrees vision. There are things that people will just do inherently that like, patrons and regulars don't see. But like, the fact that, you know, it's, it, it like gets exceedingly higher and higher in terms of like, the minimum bar, uh, for what it means to be like an attendant, a cashier, a matchmaker, a receptionist, you know, like these kinds of like these kind of front desk jobs. Yeah, whatever they call like anyone who like works at like the front desk of anything. Um, so, um, just like stuff like that. Like the, the the bar keeps like getting raised higher and higher for like the minimum requirements on like each individual. And it's weird because it's it's everywhere, and it, it would effectively mean like it, to me it seems like we're basically in a recession, but no one wants to say that out loud, um, because like the stock market still looks good, but like the real economy is like been suffering for forever. So that's my hot take. What do you think about that? You think we've actually been in, like a secret? There's no war in Bossing say recession for a while. I mean, I feel like we never really escaped the. The, the recession from, you know, early, from like 2008. Yeah. I agree. Because we still feel the effects of that. And if it was recovered, you would be like, hey, that's totally just like the Antonine plague or whatever in, um, in, in Rome. Um, but uh, instead, it's like you still feel like the sickness. So therefore we're still either recovering or still in it. We haven't recovered. Um, but, uh, you, you're, you're into history. You know the Antonine Plague or whatever. I don't. I don't. I'm bold. Do you know what I know? I know what, what I do you, What do you know? I think the one of the things is your door keeps opening. Yeah, I don't know. Let me... The door to my house is opening on t on t closing. My mama said that she was oh well the friggin. Let's see, mama said she was gonna be uh. uh okay, yeah, she messaged and was like, "What are you guys doing?" I guess she's home then. Uh, we're recording videos to be popular on the interwebs. Uh, well, well, we're having a blast. It's always kind of weird when people are like. You know, like, ah, don't don't chase clout and fame. It's like, no, I mean, you're right. Like, I do just want to do what I want to... I, I do just want to do what I want to do. And I don't, I don't want to be, like, subcutaneous about it. But also, like, I, I need, you know, you need some kind of some kind of currency here with what you're doing. Um, yeah. But then you're right, it still is a shit show anyway. So it's just like, hey, just do what you love to do, man. Um... Sea shrimps can only be planted in the water. I didn't know! It's dark out! We're dark outside, we're eating the piss. It's dark outside, we're eating the piss. There is, uh, no music on this level. It's so eerie, dude. Oh my world. gosh. Um, so, I we just had another glitch. Maybe. Oh, on Sims? Yep. Okay. You know, oh yeah, so last night you showed me a glitch on The Sims where it was people were supposed were, to be kissing, but the girls just kept doing limbo really hard. Yeah, and they were like opposite, and then at the end of the glitch, the other Sim like moved over. They did like the, the limbo reverse bow. Um, yeah, so now yeah. here's a glitch, is one of The Sims is holding like the other, like her, her, her son or whatever. Yeah. And he's sleeping. The sun is not. Um, wow. I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> it's my phone. 
my frilicky frolicking phone. Oh, what? Oh, I hear the balloons! Talk about Party City. Like, it's just, the like, kid is 